Alrighty, guys, let's get into it. Tory Lanez was arrested, arrested, not charged, okay? Tory Lanez fell in the South charge in the Megan Stallion shooting. Tory Lanez had been charged in the connection with the shooting involving Megan Thee Stallion just weeks after the singer released an album claiming his innocence. The L.A. Cali D.A. office hit him with one count of assault with a semi-automatic firearm and one count of carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. The D.A. also alleged Tory inflicted great bodily injuries. Mm-hmm. If convicted, the rapper singer faces up to 22 years and 8 months in prison. That is not going to happen. As we reported, the prosecutor has said they were mulling over a charge of felony assault with a firearm against Tory after Megan said she was shot back in July. Remember, Tory had been arrested but only charged with possession of a firearm. Prosecutors are now explicitly pointing the finger Tory as the man who pulled the trigger, leaving Meg with a gruesome foot injury. Mm, 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 mm. It took Meg some time before she went public and accused Tory by name as the person who shot her. She didn't miss words saying, yes, this ninja Tory shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicist, your publicist and your people, the blogs, lying and shit. Stop lying. She was mad that day. As reported, sources connected to Tory say there were mitigating circumstances and based on what we know, we believe Tory going to say it was an accident shooting. Told you. Megan didn't help the DA office effort with a social media caption, which has since been deleted, that said she had her back to the SUV when she, when she was shot in the hill. That might, may indicate she didn't see it with her own eyes when Tori alleged pulled the trigger. I told y'all, I said in my video, I said it's going to be two things that he is going to try to plead in his defense. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You'll recall video of the incident showing cops pulling over the SUV in the Hollywood Hills with Tori lying face down on the pavement and Megan jingling, tipping, towing, leaving bloody footprints with each painful step. We broke the story. Megan's injuries to her feet were so bad she had to go into the operating room to remove bullets or bullet fragment. And see, I told y'all, I told y'all that he was going to try two different defense. I said he was going to say it was an accident, that he didn't mean to shoot her, and he shot the ground, and she got, you know, a uh, rick ricochet bullet hit her, or he was going to say that she didn't see who shot him because her back was turned. And Megan should have never said that because that is, I think that's the one that they're going to use. And my radio, she is the reason, she's one of the big reasons why Tori is saying the things that he's saying because she's the one who kept it going, kept it going, kept it going day after day, day after day, day after day, all of this bullshit so she can get a blue damn check mark from Instagram. That's all this is about. That's all it's about. That's why she went in so hard on Carl Crawford. Accused him of murder. Hurt him and Erica Banks. You don't hear that trick talking about that no more. Because I think they gave her assistant deceased. Or they threatened her ass or some shit. But she don't talk about that shit no more. She stayed on this case right here. All the lies. All the theories. All the... I mean, everything that this girl has said since... This incident happened. And mind y'all, she's mad be at Megan because Megan collabed with Cardi B. Now I wonder what she gonna do when allegedly Cardi B and Nicki Minaj are supposed to be working together. I'm gonna see if she gonna keep the same energy and go in on Nicki Minaj because Cardi B have not yet apologized to her people. We're going to see if she's going to keep that same energy. Mm-hmm. Because she got to. If her reason for being mad at every, anybody about Cardi B, 
then she got to keep that same energy for Nicki Minaj if she uh, claimed that she loved her people and that's why she's so mad at Cardi B and she's going to stay on Cardi B until Cardi B apologized. So I'm going to see. That's going to be interesting. But like I said, I knew that he was going to try these two things because see, like I said in my video, if Kelsey do not testify, if the bodyguard do not testify, that is his word against Megan's. And the media are the ones who put that out there. Rob Radio put that out there. And when, when, when Megan came up and she said Tori shot her and told what happened, because uh, Rob Radio was over there feeling so guilty because she kept pressuring the girl, picking with the girl, and then so the girl come out and say, Tori shot me. Oh, that video that she done on Megan Thee Stallion, it was just, it was ridiculous. It was pitiful. She should be ashamed of her damn self. She should be ashamed of herself. But she's the one alluded to the idea, well, Megan, how you know who shot you? And boom. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. See, Tori is listening to the media. He's listening to what everybody is saying about him, what everybody's putting out, what everybody, their theories about what happened, who wasn't believing Megan Thee Stallion. And that's why we got that album. Like, that's why he was saying the things that he was saying in that album because he was just regurgitating what other people said in the, in the media. Now, for example, Tasha K, <laughs> Tasha K said Megan Thee Stallion got up there all jury down, hair all done, to come up there and say, you shot me. <laughs> so, Tory, he said that shit in his song. Duh. And it's just crazy. It's crazy. Like I said, he's talking to the media. He ain't talking to, he wasn't talking to the police. He was talking to the media. That's why he wouldn't say any of the, uh, the you know, the stuff that he probably already gave the uh, his lawyer or the detective. But I truly believe that if Kelsey... Do not speak or that bodyguard. Tory Lanez ain't going to jail. He's only charged. He's not convicted. He ain't going to jail because he can't. You, no jury is going to convict him. If Megan Stallion say, I walked away. And if they say, well, did you see who shot you? Did you see? And if she say, well, no. That's it. It's over. And that's the play. That is the play. I know what the play is. That's why Kelsey is not testifying. And I believe that because it was an accident and he his intentions was not to hurt her, I, I feel like everybody is like, Megan, you know he didn't try to hurt you. Even, yeah, he shot the ground. We were all drunk. But he wasn't trying to hurt you. You know, and I believe that... Um, that's probably what they were saying to her. That's probably why Kelsey is like, I'm not gonna testify against him because he's gonna go to he's not gonna be able to come back to the United States. They're gonna ban him from over here. His whole career is gonna be gone when he really didn't try to hurt you. But even though he shot at her, he know anything can happen. He hurt the girl. Even though he was shooting at the ground, he still caused the injuries. To her feet. And that's what I said. The charges. That's that's what they were. That's going to be. the In the prosecutor's mind. How they're going to do the case is. He caused. Even if he hit. Pointed at the ground. Shot the bullet. The bullet ricocheted and hit her. They're going to. You know. The jury's going to want to know. Did he cause injury to her feet. When he done it. Absolutely. So, it's going to be up to his defense team on the play that they're going to try to use. And I definitely think if he already got Kelsey and the bodyguard, if he already got them on, on his side, and he was so confident that he wasn't going to jail because he was out here singing. And another thing, what he messed up at was he should have never made that album. He should have never... 
target all those people. He talked about everybody. And then he had the nerve to, to come for Jay-Z. Like, that's dumb. Knowing that Jay-Z got all that power. You know, the, the, the head FBI informant. She worked for the FBI. And she was an informant. That is, she's the COO of Rock Nation. Like, you, I, I mean, she, 1501 couldn't even stop their own artists from publishing her song. The pool that they got. And when he was out there showing them gold, talking about, we outside, outside. We outside, outside. Bringing up his father. To, to, to play with the media and talking crazy in his music, out there smiling with gold teeth, doing everything he was doing, knowing that this girl was sitting back in sorrow, sad, hurting. Jay-Z said, go get that nigga. Go get him. And that's what happened. They went and got his ass. Period. So that's it. I'll be back to talk about more, but I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all leave y'all thoughts down in the comments. Y'all already know we're going to talk about it in the comment section. All right. Bye-bye.